I could have been doing it this way the whole time. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, Rachel. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Rachel, AKA Ray Ray MUA. And your girl got her hair done. And she just showed up to the technology party. Yep. Uh, also, update, still going through it. I am aware there is texture. You don't have to remind me. We'll talk about it later, but just be nice. On, on today's video, we are going to be using the new Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow from Natasha Denona. Uh, spoiler alert, TL, TLDR, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's real good. It's real good. Mama likes. Mama likes a lot. Um, and stay tuned to the very end so you can learn a little bit more about these babies here. But grab yourself a water, grab yourself your brushes, whatever you need, and let's get it going. All right, so we're gonna start with our tried and true strobe cream. Um, and I'm actually using the shade Gold Light instead of my normal peach light. Um, also, apologies, I'm probably going to keep looking this way instead of right here, because that's where the camera is, but I'm used to looking at my face, so I'm probably gonna be looking all over the place, but we're learning, we're doing better. This is what we do. So, using about that much, I'm gonna warm it up in our hands, and we're gonna rub it on the skin. I think I went a little hard with primer, but that's okay. Next, we're going in with Studio Fix, or I guess, well, the new name is Studio Fix Radiant Face and Body or something like that. I don't know, it's face and body. Nice and sheer, ooh, nice and sheer, gel-based, um, emollient rich, you know, emulsions I don't I'm just, just talking so we use about that much as per usual and then I'm gonna use my middle finger the part of my middle finger to just start to apply as always Ooh, oh, oh Lord okay <laughs> the wheels are already falling off people and we're gonna go in with our tried and true 170 brush or any dense makeup brush and we're just gonna press the face and body into the skin so even though the heat from my fingers even though I did apply it that way um, I was just helping the heat emulsion technology bond itself together and this just really kind of softens it along the edges and presses into the skin to make it look that much more natural Just softening the edges, buffing it out. Now that we're all buffed into the skin, next we're gonna go in and do our brows. And man, y'all really liked the way I did my brows last time. So I'll try to do something fairly similar to it, but I think I am gonna add just a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go in with the spoolie brush first and we're just gonna kinda brush up the brows. And get them ready. And then we're gonna go in with the brow styler and I use the color Spiked, which is the step up from the darkest shade, which is Stud. So it's kind of like a darker, um, a darker but still kind of a rich brown. And we're just gonna map out everything. Man, look at all of that. So um, if you've been following my skin freak out journey the last oh my god it's like three freaking weeks um i like so this seems to happen when the weather changes here because it goes from being so cold for so long so like any sort of warmer weather my skin's like oh my god and um it just gets super, super dry, but like only in certain areas. So for a little while, it was like around my mouth and then like my 
eyes have just like completely lost their freaking mind. So I think I'm on the uptick. I'm a little nervous to see like how they're gonna react after doing this makeup because I haven't put eye makeup on outside of filming last week. I have not put eye makeup on because I can't. Like my eyes were swollen for a little bit and now it's just like dry. So send vibes, prayers, whatever you do if you wanna, I don't know. Just send me like moisturized lids vibes, please. They would really appreciate it. So we're just gonna add some color here and don't worry, I am gonna brush that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the other side. Be right back. Now I'm all filled in, so then we'll just take the handy dandy spoolie and brush everything out. Next we're going in with the Studio Finish Concealer and I'm using the shade NC15. And we're gonna go in with a flat defining brush and I believe this is from Sigma. And as always, I'm just going to color the tip of the brush and we're just gonna map out and clean up around the brows. But first we're gonna start underneath here. side of the brush, the flat side. Now that we're all blended and softened, we're gonna go in with the False Lash Maximizer. And this is the good stuff that really gives my brows like the oomph. So, we are going to comb through. Like so. And then I'm gonna take the pad of my finger I'm just gonna pull up. And I'm also kind of pressing into the brow. Ooh, there we go. That's nice. Then we're gonna go and do the other side. Now that brows are done, we're going to use the 24 hour eye base, which is a really nice clear, doesn't look like it, but it's actually a clear eyeshadow primer. So we're just gonna warm it up on the pads of our fingers and apply to the lid all the way up. Ooh. that gross. <laughs> I'm sorry I chose to do a YouTube channel or to start a YouTube channel right when the seasons change so you guys get to watch my skin freak the fuck out for absolutely no reason. Oh my. The picture of beauty and grace everyone. Gotta love it. Next, we're gonna go in with our under brow highlight and we're gonna be using the shade Nylon and I'll be applying with a 239 flat brush. I'm gonna pick up here and then apply right underneath the brow bone. Now, as of, as of now, my plan is to bring up the eyeshadow fairly high. So this might go away a little tiny bit but I still want a little bit of that like under highlight.
Okay, and we're gonna pop some in the inner corner on the corner of the brush. I just wanna take a quick second, because I feel like this is a really good teachable learning moment. So, you know how if you go and you, um, you go to get your makeup done in like the before times, and you show your makeup artist the picture of what you want, and you, you know, it's someone completely smooth, completely flawless, a la Kim Kardashian et al. Um, and your makeup artist is done, and it doesn't look as smooth as it does in the photo, a big part of that is because you have to work on your skincare routine for us to have a nice even canvas to work on. It's not gonna look smooth unless you do the work to prep the skin. So even though what's going on right now is a little out of my control because it's going crazy, but because I can't put anything on this because it'll smother kind of like the healing from all the research that I've done. Um, in case anyone's curious, it's called, per I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher, butcher it. Um, just like I just butchered the word butcher. Again, huh. uh, it's called perorial dermatitis, I think is what it's called. Um, it's mainly around the mouth, but it can happen on the eyes. But so if you look at this, like I have all of this texture, and so this doesn't look nearly as smooth as it usually does. Also, my under eye is extremely dry, so it's nothing is gonna sit really well. I'm gonna try as much as I can, and the more moisture I keep putting on it throughout this, it's probably gonna look smooth, but just again, because of what how this issue lives, it's probably gonna suck up all the moisture because I literally have not put a single ounce of moisturizer on this because it stops it from healing, which is really frustrating because I love to moisturize because I'm, I'm hella dry. So I just thought that was a, a big thing to talk about. So if you're done and your makeup artist is just, you know, super excited about the work that they've done and it doesn't look like you think that it should, invest in your skincare, invest in your skin. We only have one, well, Overarching, yes, we only have one, even though we do shed, so technically we have like a ton of new skin. Um, I just felt that it was important for me to address that. So take care of your skin and drink your water. Next, we're gonna go in with the shade Teta Tint uh, for our transition shade, and I'm gonna be using the 224 Fluffy Brush, and we're just gonna swirl right into the pan get it nice and covered, and then we're gonna go into the crease here. And I'm just putting this down because I am gonna go in with some yellow, but I just wanna make everything kind of even with the skin. Pick up a little bit more. Next, we're gonna go in with this shade called Royal Woo. This is from the MAC uh, with Chris Chang collection a million years ago. Um, but I love this yellow because it's more like a dandelion yellow versus a um, like a school bus or macaroni and cheese yellow. It's just really nice and a little bit more neon. Um, so I'm gonna be using the 224 again and basically just kind of going over where I just went in with that Teta Tint and maybe just a little bit higher. Hope you guys appreciate how vulnerable I'm being. I feel so gross. Oh man. the transition shades down. It's time for the fun thingies. 
I'm gonna be using the, um, I know I said it in the top of the video, but I'm using the Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow from Natasha Denona. Um, they are beautiful. Let me swatch because they are oh, so pretty. Okay, so this is the shade Infra Nude. Oh my God, it's so freaking pretty. And then this is Dog Bane. And so I'm planning on using Dog Bane today. But so we're just gonna go, I'm gonna try to do this so you can see it. But that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Woo! So pretty. I, oh, I feel like the camera is like not even really picking up all the ways that it transitions. It's so pretty. Um, super excited to use today. I will say though, for like the, they're not super expensive. Um, which I was really excited about. I've actually never used any of Natasha Denona's stuff, but I've heard amazing things. Um, I think I paid like $28, um, and so it's .08 fluid ounces, so it's about that big. Um, compared to like Stila, um, this is, Uh, 0.153 fluid ounces and then say like with the MAC liquid dazzle shadow um, this is does it say on here it doesn't so it's probably around the same as the Stila um, I know for a fact that these are 24 um, and I'm fairly certain these are probably 24 26 28 something like that so I mean that was kind of a bummer, but not enough of a bummer that I didn't buy two. Just, I'm just saying. Sharing my opinion, if you will. My ever so humble opinion, but super excited. Yeah. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this baby on. So this is my first time applying it, so I'm probably gonna think in the moment, so you're gonna kinda watch me, like my process, but so I'm just gonna use the, the applicator. Grabbing um, a 217. I'm kind of just pressing it. Oh my god, it's so freaking mm, so pretty. Yeah, just kind of pulling up. Let me take care of this other side. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Oh, um, mm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so off camera, I kind of had a panic moment because like it was missing something so I very meekishly picked up the flamboyant palette um, and decided to pick up a little bit of this shade here that is Dollywood yes Dollywood um, and just kind of wrapped it a little bit up top because I feel like this is just a little too soft. So I took my 221 
and I picked up a little teeny tiny bit and I started kind of out in this outer third area here and see I'm just kind of like pressing it because I really don't want to take away from this I don't want it to be super super harsh I I just wanted I want the the crease just a little bit more smoky a little bit more blended a little bit more diffused it but still adding that dimension to it because I felt like it was just kind of like disappearing into nothing so I'm just kind of bringing it up here the texture so much texture but it's okay because we're being vulnerable on the internet yeah I think that makes such a difference oh, so good so good do I want to add motif on top I want to add motif on top so I'm gonna add motif on top so I'm gonna go back in and pick up a little bit of this another duochrome and we're just gonna pop that right on top add a little bit of pink on top of that nylon a little bit of pink and yellow all the duochromes Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and tight lined both my upper and lower water lines uh, with the twist up liner uh, or technical liner and graph black. Um, I'm gonna go in with the lip liner in Night Moth. This is actually one of my favorites to use as eyeliner. It's just this really pretty wine shade, and I feel like it's just gonna add a really interesting bit of dimension to the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the top. So like always, we want to use our pinky finger instead of our pointer because this is not going to kind of create uh, more wrinkles because there's more force with the, with the pointer. So we're going to grab the pinky and I'm going to try to look at myself off camera here. We're just going to drag that along the top here. Don't mind that it looks kind of ugly because we're going to soften that. Not ugly, ugly is the wrong word to use. We're not talking to ourselves that way. It looks a little rough, rough. I like that better. Because we're all about positive as I used my pointer, but we're all about changing the dialogue that we use for ourselves. Okay. Nice and mapped out. Now I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush. I believe this is a 210, but um, a Q-tip would work as well. And I'm just gonna drag it along the line which we just made to soften it. And it doesn't need to be clean because I just want it to look really soft and lived in, really smoky. I also love using this liner um, to help make my eyes look more green. Because you know, I've got hazel eyes. Um, my middle brother, Dustin, is a lucky bastard that got green eyes with the black hair. So I'm always trying to fake like I have green eyes. So, I mean, they're green, they're just brown around the iris. Ooh. Oh, I wonder what this would look like underneath. Next time. <laughs> look at that and then I am gonna be going in later and, and wrapping it but we'll do that after we do concealer because I don't want to delete all that color and then I'm gonna go back in with that motif and we're just gonna pop that in the inner corner make that a little bit warmer rather than that kind of like stark golden white Even though I like that but I just want to add a little bit of warmth since the eye is already so warm. Now that the eyes are kinda done, now I'm gonna go in with the Prepper and Prime Highlighter Pen in the shade Medium. Um, as I've said in previous videos, RIP, MAC doesn't make this anymore. Um, but they do still have some other shades, but I still have this and it's my favorite, so I'm gonna use it, so. I'm 
nervous to see what this is gonna look like. This is gonna be ridiculous. So don't judge me, guys, okay? Okay. So we're just making our isosceles triangle, kind of. Should I call this angel wings instead? Because I feel like it looks like angel wings. Now we're gonna do our little flower. We're gonna do the bridge of the nose. We're gonna do the cupid bow and then the chin. If you want um, in-depth information on how to highlight and contour, um, you can check out, um, I think it's like my second video. Um, I go into a lot of depth about placement for different face shapes for female identifying versus male identifying um, and how you can kind of contour to really um, achieve those looks. So I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge here and I'm just gonna press into the skin. Do this without my hand hold, I think. Oh yeah. Oh goodness, yep. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in here in a second. Well, not zoom in, but get in y'all's faces to further my point about skincare. Cause we're learning today. Okay. All right, so back to what I was saying about making sure that your skin's right before you go see your makeup artist. If you look underneath here, and you look underneath here, you see those patches, all of that is dry skin. So if you are not hydrating your under eye, no matter what your makeup artist does, no matter what you do, you will still have that texture. And I mean, you can still even see it up above here. And I just had a hair fly in my eye. Um, so no amount of magic will help smooth that out. So you wanna make sure that you treat your skin as well as it can be treated. So everything will lay really nice and smooth. Um, this is making me die inside. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with the Bina Bronze to do our bronze and contour. So I'm using the Sigma Powder Slash Blush Brush in F10. And we're just gonna map out I just had this quote from Clueless pop in my head because from far away, it doesn't look bad, but up close. So it's what she was like uh, talking about Amber, I think. She was like, she's a full on Monet from far away. looks like a masterpiece or whatever, but up close, it's just a full on mess. That's what I feel like. That's my new personal brand, I guess. Next, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Kabuki brush and just kind of tap into the product here. And then we're just gonna kind of touch the sides of the nose. That's all I do for that. And I'm gonna go in with my sponge again and just kind of sharpen up those edges. I'm also gonna press the bronzer into the nose. And then also press in on the forehead. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Glow Play Blush in the shade Blush Please, which is this really pretty neutral, kind of dusty rose type of shade. And we're gonna assume the position. And then we're gonna pick up product. We're just gonna press in here, we're not gonna swirl. Just gonna press on the cheeks. And I'm using the uh, Sephora Must Have Angled Blush Brush.
Now we're gonna go in with the Hyper Real Glow Palette in the shade Flash It All. Uh, we're gonna take the Morphe M501 brush and just like piano keys, and we're gonna pick some up. And we're gonna kiss the tops of our cheeks. dry peeps. Am I going to do it? I think I'm going to do it. I wasn't going to do it, but I kind of want to do it. Um, I'm just going to do a swipe of Snow Flushed just because it looks so close to the dog bane. Um, I know that this is limited edition. Sorry. Um, but there are dupes. I believe it's Show Gold that's probably going to be the closest to it that Max still makes, which is nice. I just want a little bit of warmth, add a little bit of warmth to the, I'm just gonna do the cheeks, but. Cool, so eyeshadow check-in, because this dries down like a powder. There's no creasing, which is nice. I mean, despite the texture, don't worry about the texture, because you're not gonna have this texture. Um, but normally, just because with the way that my eyelids are, some, um, especially if I don't prime, Sometimes there can be creasing, and with liquid shadows in general, unless they set really, really well, um, you can have a little bit here. But yeah, there's no, there's no creasing so far, which is really, really nice. And this is living really nicely on my lid. Cool, super excited about that. Now I'm gonna go back in with, um, actually, we're gonna do, JK. Uh, we're gonna go back in with the Chris Chang, the Royal Wu. I'm gonna use my 224. And we're just gonna blow out that lower lash line. And this can go out pretty far. I like to really blow out my lower lash line. So you don't have to go as far as me if you don't want to. So you could actually skip this step if you don't wanna go super far out. Ooh. Another learning moment or another vulnerable moment. If you're having dry under eyes, you definitely don't want to set with powder because look at the separation. Powder is not gonna help help with that. That's actually gonna pick it up a lot more. And I'm actually seeing it a lot more because I am putting the powder underneath. Um, the Fix Plus at the very end probably will soften it a little bit. But just keep in mind, that's another place that you wanna moisturize as well because if it doesn't, if it doesn't have enough moisture, then product isn't gonna lay very nicely on it, so. Yay. Okay. Now we're gonna go back in with that Dollywood, that shade right, right there, with the 221, and we're gonna do the same thing. So the 221 is the smaller one. It's just gonna get closer to that lash line. up and out so it kind of runs up and meets this color up here. Next we're going to go in with that Night Moth and we're just going to really, actually this side first so you can see better, we're just going to color right underneath here and again we're just mapping out because we're going to soften it. Pencil brush, and we're gonna smudge. I love this, I love this. This is like all of my warm duochrome dreams come true. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> happy dance, happy dance, happy dance. Cool, okay, now that we're done with that. <laughs> Uh, now we're gonna go in and uh, do the lashes. Um, 
We're gonna start with the false lash maximizer again because this is for both lashes and brows. Now I'm gonna go in with the Extended Play Per Me Up Lash Mascara. Last but not least, we're gonna be using the Extended Play uh, Mascara and Giga Black for our lower lashes. Also, apologies if you can hear my radiator screaming in the background. We're back down to like low 40s, so of course it's like banana pants in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set with some Fix Plus. I've decided that I think this look deserves some lashes, so I'm gonna go in with the number 48 lashes from MAC. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pop this off. And I'm gonna be using the, um, the Black Duo Glue. Um, this is latex free, which is really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and um, normally, I will say, normally I would color the band because it's fairly, even though it's translucent, you can still kind of see it when it's on the, on the lash. So normally I would color it to make it look a little bit more camouflage, but because this is black glue, that's gonna kind of do the job for me. Um, and I, it's gonna have less product on it. So I'm gonna try to do this so you can see it. So I'm gonna clean off here, even though I'm basically gonna use like the top part of the lash or the applicator to put the glue down. Okay, and with applying lashes, it's important to kind of air them out a little bit. Um, so that way the glue is a little bit more tacky um, because it'll stick faster and easier. Um, if the glue is too globby and too wet still, when you blink, the lashes will shift and then nobody wants that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this in a way that doesn't embarrass me on camera. And then another little trick that you can do is you can use your pinchers to pinch your natural lash with the false lash. There we go. Another big thing if you've noticed, I have my mirror sitting down like this so I can see the top of my lid a little bit easier versus doing this because who wants to do this? This is hard. So hold it down like this. Once I learned this trick, made all the difference. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the other side. I'll be right back. Now that we're all applied, now we're gonna go in for the final part, the lips. So I'm gonna be using the Lip Tensity Lip Pencil in Fresh Clay, just to line my lips real fast. Now we're gonna go in with the Love Me Lipstick in the shade Très Blasé.
love it. Oh, and with the hair looking right too. Amazing. I'm gonna go grab some stuff though. I'll be right back. Okay, now to close this video out like I close out all of my videos. How did you show up for yourself today? I'll go first. So I got enough sleep last night, which is super important. I meditated this morning and journaled. And the final way that I'm gonna show up for myself is actually me showing up for my friends. Um, I went and did my nails super fast. Uh, my friend Melissa, you can find her at Scratched by Rococo. She makes these beautiful press-on nail kits. She hand paints, hand, hand paints these press on nails like look at this so pretty and then she sends you the application kit and you get um, instructions on how to apply and how to remove um, I will link below where you can find her um, and where you can shop her stuff but when you follow her on socials you get all kinds of little tips and tricks she's also hysterical highly recommend um, yeah the the really really good quality and I just keep like doing raccoon hands, like, who, and I'm like, who do I think I am? Um, I don't know what to do. I never have my nails this long ever, so I'm like freaking out a little bit. Uh, okay, so my next friends that I wanna support are my, friend, my friends Will and Kristen at So I'm Watching This Show. Um, it's a really awesome pop culture uh, YouTube and podcast where they talk about music, movies, TV, and more. They are hysterical, I highly recommend. I've known Will since I was 16 years old. He's one of my soulmates. Uh, and Kristen is phenomenal. She is whip smart. Um, and all we do all day is send each other like Pride and Prejudice memes. We're obsessed with Mr. Darcy. I love it, it's so great. Um, so if you could go give them a like or a follow over at all of their stuff, that would be awesome. Um, and actually, when this drops, it will be April 1st, which means uh, I will be moving to Orlando with them uh, at the end of the month, which is, I don't even know, don't even get me started. Um, another way that you can support them is by their book, Fairy Tale. Uh, will wrote it. Kristen edited it. They published it together. It's phenomenal. Uh, we have been talking about fairy tales since 2003, 2004 maybe? Long time, very long time. Um, the best way I could describe it is if like Gossip Girl met Game of Thrones, um, but I'll read you a little bit of the back, but uh, fashion, fantasy, humor, and adventure collide when the spoiled and superficial royals must find and defeat an ancient evil in this contemporary reimagining of classic fairy tale stories and characters. Don't let the size fool you. It's actually a very easy read. Um, really good. I mean, we're coming up on spring and summer, so if you're traveling or going to the beach, really good beach read. It's really, really good. Um, you can find it on Amazon. I'll link it below. Uh, and my final friend I want to show up for today is my friend Effie. Um, this baller t-shirt that I'm wearing right now um, is for her book, High Priestess. So she wrote a poetry book uh, last year about her spiritual awakening. It's really, really good. She's a very talented poet. Um, so you can find her at uh, effiecala.com. Uh, that's, like I said, I'll link it below, but she's got a podcast. You can follow her on Instagram. She's on TikTok. Um, really, really cool, super vibey. You will love her like I love her. Um, so yeah, if you have something that you would like me to check out or you have a side hustle that you need support on, drop it down in the comments. I would love to. Um, I am trying to put out as much as I can into the world. We need to support each other. We need to love each other. So seriously, pop it down in the comments and I will absolutely check it out. Um, thank you so, so much for doing this with me today. I hope you had a really good time. I know I did. I am freaking obsessed, man. If you can find it, go get it. Um, but uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel called to, or you know, you can give it a little share. <laughs> you know, just flick it out there into the world. I would super appreciate it. Um, thanks so much again, and I hope you give yourself grace, and I will see you next time. Bye.